in this video we are going to discuss about swing component j checkbox class checkboxes are mainly useful in order to select multiple options generally checkbox is represented with the help of a small rectangle or a small square every checkbox contains a label that label provides information about the checkbox the best example for the checkboxes is uh, select your hobbies let the first checkbox provides information about uh, playing cricket let the second checkbox label is watching tv third checkbox label is reading books so likewise we can have several checkboxes uh, if we select the checkbox then a tick mark will appear in the checkbox again if we select the checkbox then this tick mark will disappear here if the checkbox contains a tick mark then it is called as true state true state so that is nothing but on checkbox is on and the corresponding state is also called as checked so whenever there is a tick mark symbol in the checkbox then we can say that the corresponding checkbox is checked the state of the checkbox is true or on so on specifies that the corresponding checkbox is checked again if we click on the checkbox then this tick mark will disappear then the state of the checkbox will become false or off or unchecked so false or off or unchecked means there is no there is no tick mark symbol in the checkbox so here the point is clicking on the checkbox changes the state from true to false or changes the state from on to off or changes the state from checked to the unchecked so whenever we click on the checkbox then the state of the checkbox will be changes from checked to the unchecked so that is the advantage of checkbox so here we can select multiple options let us assume that these three are our hobbies so playing cricket so this is our hobby reading books this is our hobby watching movies this is our hobby so likewise we can select n number of options now let's see the constructors of j checkbox class mainly there are three constructors are there here j checkbox is a class so j c and b are upper case letters so the first constructor doesn't accepts any parameters so if the constructor doesn't accepts any parameter then it creates an empty checkbox so that means uh, uh, no symbol will appears in the checkbox as well as the corresponding checkbox doesn't contains any label an empty checkbox will be created and the second constructor is j checkbox of string str so it creates a checkbox with the corresponding string as the label let here the string is reading books so reading books is nothing but the label the initial state of the checkbox is off if you don't use any state there then what is the initial state value false so that means initially the checkbox will be displayed with no tick mark symbol now let's see the next constructor j checkbox of string str comma boolean on so if we use this constructor then the corresponding checkbox will be created with the specified string as the label and with the corresponding state let us assume that here we specified true so if we specify true there then the checkbox will be displayed with the tick mark so here the default boolean value is false if you don't use any boolean value then by default no symbol will gets printed in the checkbox if you use just true then tick mark symbols will appear in the checkbox now let's see the methods of the j checkbox class mainly there are four methods are there first method is get state method it returns the state of the checkbox let the checkbox is checked so it returns true value let the checkbox is unchecked so it returns false value next one set state of boolean on so it is useful in order to set the state of the checkbox let the checkbox object is c so c dot set state of true so that the corresponding checkbox will be displayed with 
the tick mark symbol so it is useful in order to set the state of the tick box it may be either true or false next method get label method it returns the label associated with the check box next one set label of string str it is useful in order to set a string for the check box in order to set a label for the check box let this check box doesn't contains any label then if you want to set some label then we can use as this method c dot set state of within the double quotations watching movies so now watching movies will become the label for this checkbox now let's see an example program in order to demonstrate checkbox first statement import space java x dot swing dot star semicolon so here x stands for extension java x is the parent package swing is the sub package so why we are using swing package in this program why because swing package mainly contains three classes first one j frame class second one j checkbox class and it has one more class called component class component class contains methods like set bounds method yard method set size method set layout method set visible method so all the swing components are present in this swing package next this is nothing but class declaration what is the name of the class checkbox demo next we have created a constructor here we know that constructor name must be same as the class name next j frame f yeah, is equal to new j frame so a frame will be created like this here within the parenthesis no name is specified so here we don't have any title for the corresponding frame next j checkbox c1 is equal to new checkbox of c so what is the label for the first checkbox c so this is the constructor we used here c is the label for the first checkbox next where we have to place the checkbox so we have to provide boundaries for the checkbox so c1 dot set bounds of this 100 means x coordinate 50 means y coordinate 70 means width of the check box this 30 means height of the check box let this is that position what is the label c is the label next second check box j check box c2 is equal to new check box of c++ so the second check box label is c++ next to boundaries x coordinate 100 y coordinate 50 uh, next to width 70 pixel next to height 30 pixels so let it be that uh, this portion so what is the label here c++ here why specifying the y coordinate we have to give as that y coordinate should be greater than this 50 and 30 50 plus 30 means height so this 30 is nothing but height so this height is nothing but that 30 pixel next 50 coordinate is nothing but this pixel okay so it should be here the y coordinate should be greater than 80 otherwise we will get some overlapping in the first check box only we will get the second check box so the second check box y coordinate should be greater than the first check box y coordinate plus height value next boundaries are specified check box c3 is equal to new check box of java next boundaries 100 pixels here the third check box uh, uh, what is this one y coordinate should be greater than the sum of the second check box uh, y coordinate and height so 85 plus 30 means 150 so 150 is greater than 150 so let it be some uh, java next once the controls are created check boxes are created we have to add all those check boxes to the frame that should be done with the help of the add method so f dot add of c1 will adds check box c1 to the frame f dot add of c2 will add c++ to the frame f e dot add of c3 will adds c3 or object that is nothing but java to the frame next in order to specify the size of the frame we have to use a set size method this 400 is nothing but height of the frame this 500 is nothing but i'm sorry the first value is width so this 400 is nothing but width second value is height so this 500 is nothing but height next f dot set layout of null here we are not using any layout manager so that's why we have used null here we have different types of layout managers like uh, flow layout manager border layout manager card layout manager grid layout manager but in this program we are not using any layout manager so that's why null is specified here next f dot set visible of true initially the frame will be in invisible state so we have to make that frame as visible that should be done with the help of this method whenever we place true in set visible method then our frame will be in visible mode this is nothing but end of the constructor 
नेक्स्ट पब्लिक स्टैटिक वॉइड में स्ट्रिंग बॉक्स सो मेन मेथड इज डिक्लेयर सो इन साइड द मेन मेथड जस्ट वी हैव टू क्रिएट एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर दिस क्लास वी नो दैट वी कैन कॉल द कंस्ट्रक्टर बाय क्रिएटिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट बट हियर देर इज नो नीड ऑफ एनी रेफरेंस वेरिएबल सो दैट्स वाई ओनली ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड न्यू चेक बॉक्स डेमो इफ यू वॉन्ट वी कैन क्रिएट रेफरेंस वेरिएबल ऑल्सो चेक बॉक्स डेमो वो बी जे इज इक्वल टू न्यू चेक बॉक्स डेमो दैट वो बी जे इज नथिंग बट रेफरेंस वेरिएबल बट इन दिस प्रोग्राम वी डोंट देर इज नो नीड ऑफ दैट वो बी जे टू अस सो दैट्स वाई ओनली ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड सो वेन एवर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड दैन द कंस्ट्रक्टर वी गेट्स कॉल्ड ओके दिस इज नथिंग बट मेन मेथड मेन मेथड ending this right curly brace is nothing but end of the class declaration next we have to compile the program so java c space checkbox demo dot java next we have to run the program java space checkbox demo so whenever we run the program then we will get a frame that frame output is like this so this is about uh, j checkbox j checkbox class or j checkbox component in swings